Hi guys, Nanny here. Welcome to my channel. Um, I wanted to read a bedtime story and today's book that was chosen is How to Train a Train. It looks so cute. Are you ready? I'm here too guys, it's Harlow. So, how to train a train. So, you want a pet train? Well, of course you do. Trains make awesome pets. They're fun, playful, and extremely useful. Lucky for you, this handy guidebook contains everything you need to know how to choose and train your very own pet train. Ready? Then let's head out to find some trains. So cute. They look so fun. Different trains live in different places. Freight trains live in the countryside and travel in herds. Monorail trains live in the city and travel alone. Early steam engines pretty much just sit in the museums. And hey, have you decided which sort of train you would like? That's great. What do you think so far, Harlow? I love it. Now you need to catch one. There's lots of ways to catch a train. Some people will corner it. Others might use a big net to trap it. Still, others will run to, tr to track into the quicksand. Ooh! True, these methods all work, but I'm going to show you the best way. Ooh. Quicksand, ooh, scary. First, get up really early in the morning and find a good hiding spot to close, close to some trains smart, right? Now the hard part. Sit quietly and wait. And wait. And wait some more. Really? This is a lot of waiting. And the sun rises, the trains will begin to stir and start their engines. Watch them work and play. Wow, how cute. Patience, right? I wonder if anybody realizes, but the trains have eyes. <laughs> it's a pet. It's got to see where it's going. <laughs> it's only natural that you want to take home all the trains, but don't just grab the first one you see. Take your time and choose the one that's right for you, right? Yeah. Got one? Time to make your move. Send a puff of smoke high up in the air. Perfect. You got the train's attention cute story. If you brought any coal with you, now would be the time to offer it. Try saying, my, what a handsome train you are. Next, make the call of a wild train. Chuga, 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 chuga. Can you do that, Harlow? Yes, chuga, 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 but it's actually choo choo. It's chuga, 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 choo choo. Well done. No, it's Here it comes. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> How will you know if the train you caught is the one? Don't worry. You'll know. Look, at, you didn't know that Harlow was in the book. Isn't she cute? Resemblance. There's a lot of resemblance. <laughs> Once you get your train home, you'll want to give it a name. Some popular train names are... Milo, Morgan, Nathan, Smokey, Picklepuss. Picklepuss. Pickle Who would name their train Picklepuss? I don't know. Captain Foot Fufamamu. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. Uh, Little Miss Muffinhead. Uh, oh, she does? She can't... She kind of does look like a muffin head. And Sir chugs a lot. Wait, who's How this? cute. That's Pushkin. Oh, and they named this one Sparkles. I like Sparkles. that name. That's my favorite. My she favorite. loves Sparkles. Hey. <laughs> Don't worry if, it's, if it seems shy or scared at first. A train needs time to adjust to new surroundings. A warm bath can help calm a nervous train. That better be a pretty big bathtub. I think it's the pool. <laughs> and aren't um, trains electric? Do you They're notice Harlow in her bathing suit up here? She's so cute. Thank you for modeling for us, Harlow. 
If your train has trouble falling asleep at night, play some soft locomotion music. Rocka, rocka, clickety clack. Rocka, rocka, clickety clack. Can you sing that one, Harlow? Yeah. Rocka, rocka, clickety clack. Rocka, rocka, clickety clack. This is an old conductor's trick that will give your train some good dreams. Just like you kids should. Yes, you kids should. And we you love music at night. Yeah, and you may uh, get a dream about trains of this story, because of this story. Wouldn't it be cute? Spend as much time as you can getting to know your train. Does it prefer to go fast or slow? Does it like to fetch? I don't know how a train can open its mouth because it does have one. It doesn't have one. <laughs> well, how does it say chugga chugga choo choo? I don't know. Maybe. How does it feel about tunnels and bridges? That looks unsafe. <laughs> <laughs> we want to yes. Go that. Children, never do this. Never. Do not no. Pull your train on a bridge. That is a no no. Don't do this at home. <laughs> Um, Want to teach your train a few tricks? Easy as pie. Start with a simple trick and then move to something a bit harder. Again, children, don't try this the at kids home. Are, the kids in this book are train professionals, kids. Yes, we don't do train this at home. No fire. No, no. Get it this trained? Is a, this is trained. This Good one, Grayson. It's a very children's story, but it doesn't have that. Childish? Childish stories. Yes. Oh, By now, your train should be willing to let you go for a ride, but start out slow. Try riding in the caboose at first. Trains are very particular about who sits in the engine engineer's car. Ooh. Did I get all the way back there? <laughs> Good manners are important. Train your train not to leap up on people and to always wipe its wheels before going indoors. And of course, your train can't go everywhere with you, just like your pet. Yeah, like a train can't come inside, it's too, too small. I mean, too big. It's too big, <laughs> Marlo, <laughs> right? Out on the open road, you're sure to pass other kids with their pet trains, planes, trucks, and submarines. This is a great chance for you both to make some new friends. I like the bulldog. I mean the truck. Congratulations! You've given your train some fuel, water, a good home, and plenty of friendship and fun and everything it needs to be happy. Hooray! How will you know if your train is happy? That is a good question, boys. It's a girl. very happy train. It's smiling. It just has to be smiling. It just has to be. Don't worry. You'll just know. Oh! That is good. Well, this was a very adorable book. Yes, it was. I give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed this story with Nanny, Harlow, and Grayson. And hey. I hope you come back for more. And remember to hit that thumbs subscribe. up button and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Bye.